61. <laughs> David said, hear my cry, O Lord. Please listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lift your hands and tell Jehovah, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me. I don't know about you. I said a shelter for me. And a strong tower from my enemies. We're going to talk about enemies today. So get ready. Sit pretty. From Temple of Praise. The old capital Spanish town, Jamaica. It's an awesome assignment. I said it's an awesome assignment. It's not a light assignment. It's an awesome assignment. But by the grace of almighty God. Lift your hands until the Lord I rise to the challenge. I don't hear you God don't hear you. Oh don't do it because I said it. Tell the Lord I rise to the challenge. So by the grace of almighty God. With the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Week after week we stand behind these microphones. We ask for divine. We ask for divine manifestation. And we ask for the divine anointing. To help us carry out our divine mandate. So that let's not waste another minute. Already we feel our help coming. I've already driven the devil back to the east. I've already driven back to the west, to the north, and the south. So by means of 21st century technology and by the anointing of the Holy Ghost coming upon me. Don't seem like some of you ready. I'm not ready to go into an old fashioned Holy Ghost. Hell wrenching. Devil destroying. Foot stamping. Hand clapping. Word preaching, Holy Ghost anointed, burden removing, yield the sign. It's a prayer. Shut up. Give him glory. Give him praise and glory. He's worthy. Be seated in the anointing of God. Stay in the anointing. For a couple minutes, we're going to celebrate our listeners and, and our viewers. But stay under the anointing because today is the last day your enemy pursue you. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I am redeemed. The songwriter penned it. I am bought with a price. Jesus has changed my life. If anybody asks you just who I am, just tell them that I am redeemed. Are you really free today? Has Jesus Christ paid your ransom? I do hope so, for we continue to celebrate our independence, our victory, and our jubilee. We also want to celebrate with all our partners and friends who remain faithful to the Revival Time broadcast in Perth. God has been wonderfully good to us here at Temple of Praise, and we want to share his divine release and his favor with you. We thank God for those of you who have been sharing your victory testimonies through this broadcast. Whether it is by means of text messaging, whether you have written or you have called, we want to thank and bless Almighty God for you. If you have not yet received your deliverance, don't you dare give up. Your seed 
The seed of God's word has been planted in your spirits. And God is about getting ready to water your spirits and to manifest his miracle in your life. Hold true to the word of God. He will bring whatever he has promised you to pass. We pause at this time to celebrate with some of our listeners who have made contact with us this week. Anthony, Lloyd, Elizabeth, Monica, and Marcia from Clarendon. Fear thou not the enemy, for God will give his angels charge over you in all your ways to keep you. We salute some of our friends from St. Catherine. Brother Nev, Pamela, Winston, Leone, and Tracy. You have been called an outcast, but may I encourage you that God will restore you and he will heal you. Nordia, Margaret, Nicola, Petrona, and Chevelle from Manchester. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. God is ready to bless you in this year of your jubilee. We celebrate with some of our friends from St. James, Judine, Marie, Marcia, Clifford, and Melissa. Break forth into joy and sing, for your God hath comforted you and redeemed you. Remember, friends, this is your year of divine release. We want to acknowledge some of our local and international friends who have made contact with us via the internet. Lurleen, Leo, Shireen, and Sister Kiffon from the USA. Antoinette, Brother Hall from Canada. We want to thank you for making contact with us here at Revival Time. We pray God's richest blessings on your life. Thank you for your words of encouragement and thank you for supporting this ministry. If you have made contact with us this week and you have not heard your names, we want you to rest assured that we have received your request and we are praying until you have received your deliverance. We invite you to continue to call one of our prayer lines, 886-7729. That's 886-PRAY-757-2749. That's 757-2749. Or 984-4398. That's 984-4398. Or 865-HELP. That's 865-4357. Our text line remains 354-6269. That's 354-6269. And we want to remind you that this line is only for text messages. This week's broadcast is 1244. That's this week's broadcast number is 1244. You can place your order and order this message when you write us here at Revival Time, Post Office Box 261, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. That's Revival Time, Post Office Box 261, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Or for our international family, you can write us at 145-2-2-6-0. That's 145, I repeat, dash 30, 230th Street, Rosedale, New York, 11413. Other means of contacting us is via the internet. You can email us at revivaltime70 at hotmail.com. That's revivaltime70 at hotmail.com. You can also visit our website. It's revivaltime.webs.com. There you can view our services live or pre-recorded. You can sign our guest book. You can be a member of our website. Visit our pastor's blog. View our calendar for upcoming events, or you can have a say in our forum. Follow us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash revival time ministries. We urge you, we implore you to continue to support the revival time broadcast. You can make your contribution to the Revival Time broadcast at any national commercial bank island-wide. The account number is 471-058-157. That's the account number for the Revival Time broadcast, 471-058-157. At this time, the Revival Time family would like to congratulate and celebrate with all our Olympians in London. We want you to know that we are praying for you. You have done our country proud, and we pray God's blessing on all your endeavors. 
Also to those of you who are successful in the CXC and the CAPE examinations. Many of you have requested prayers and we did pray. And we thank God that you came out victorious. I am Janice Sherman and I'm encouraging you, don't give up. Don't give in. Don't you dare back down. For this is your year for God's divine release on your life. Stay tuned to the rest of the service and be blessed. Come on, give the Lord a mighty praise. Thank you so much. To those in the house today and you're connecting with the Holy Ghost, you got no problem. If you're not connecting, that's where your trouble begins. If you're viewing us and you're not connecting with the Spirit, the same goes for you. If you're connecting, you're enjoying the blessings of the Lord. Whether you're watching us from Winnipeg, Manitoba, or from Toronto, Canada, or my dear friend on the west coast of Canada, British Columbia, my dear friend, God bless you and thank you so much for your enclosure. Some 10,000 miles away, you're receiving revival time. We thank God for you and we celebrate you. Or whether you're viewing us regular in Florida, or in California, New York, or Boston, Massachusetts. Whether you're viewing us in Chicago or Washington, we bless you. From across the nation of Jamaica, in Pakistan, we bless all our friends that view us, view us in Pakistan, in, in, in Burma, in the Philippines, in Ukraine, in Haiti, in the Cayman Highlands, in the Bahamas, in Trinidad and Tobago, we bless you. Wherever you view our telecast, we thank God for you. And remember, for you we are praying. And don't forget to pray for us. Because for you, we are praying. And don't forget to watch us on MTM TV every Sunday morning, 7.30 on MTM Network. So... If you are on the, if you're on the, if you're on the flow network, it's 671. 671 on the flow network, 34, channel 34 in Trinidad and Tobago. And if you do have cable, inquire from your cable operator, MTM TV, 7.30 on Sunday morning and 7 o'clock Wednesday evening. Let us know if you are receiving revival time through radio, or through TV, or through the internet. We will be so thankful. I've been through enough <laughs> to know that he'll be enough for me. Be blessed, Sister Tashana. I've been through Hallelujah. enough. Let me worship the Lord. Hallelujah. When I first began to walk with the Lord, I did not really trust Him. How He longed for me to understand that I could so through the valley he led me a friend as I could be to life at this
There's no place that I can go where he doesn't know the things that trouble me. He's always aware of where I am and what. For the word and I'm going to ask you all to stand the word of the Lord comes to us today from the book of Exodus chapter 14 and we are going to read verses 13 and 14 and Moses said unto the people fear he not stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians, for the Obia workers, for the God haters that you see today, he shall see them again. 
no more forever. Somebody say forever. Verse 14. For the Lord shall fight for you. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. What a prophecy. For the Lord shall fight for me. And he shall hold your peace. Tell somebody, hold. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. This is the word. Beloved, surely it is a beautiful day to be in the presence of the Lord. I declare that it is a day in which we will never see again. It is a day in which the Lord is going to speak prophetically uh, in a way in which we have never and will never hear him speak like this before. If you agree with me, give him a praise in the house. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So I stand here this afternoon to introduce to you God's mailman coming with a prophetic word. And as you know, he comes week after week with an anointed word tearing down every area, every border, every roadblock which the enemy has set up. And this week on revival time is no different. We will not back down. We will not give in. We will sign over and we won't settle for less than what the Lord will have us to settle for so with a word entitled and this is a declaration that this is the last day your enemies pursue you yes beloved I stand here to say to you today that this is the last day your enemies pursue you I present to you Bishop Dr. Gigi Cooper in care of the darling Holy Ghost set your hands let's Lord we thank you that you have already spoken. I am not the enforcer. I am not the revelation. I am just the presenter. So I'm not here Lord to enforce anything. Angels and assignment secret service. You do the enforcement. While I present what you say. Now let preaching be easy. Let the anointing flow. Touch those in the house. Those who view and those who are listening. Every home is now covered. Hospital, prisons, vehicles everywhere. Every radio that is receiving revival time. Touch it now. Every antenna in the hills. Release a certain sound. Into our spirit we receive it with thanksgiving. And let the church give God the mighty praise. The Lord bless you. Be seated. Are you happy to be in the house today? I want every one of you to know that you are an integral part. Say with me, I am an integral part of what God is doing. I am a part of the answer not a part of the puzzle I hope you know what that you just said let me remind you if you are sleeping here and abroad that our God Jehovah he's bringing out a people a people for his name you're not that people you're not that person I'm trying to put it as easy as I can that our 
God is bringing out a people for his name. With his name. And by his name. And I am emphatically good sister to declare to you that when God brings out his people. I said when God brings out his people. There will not be one feeble believer among us. Not one feeble. Touch your neighbor and say not one of you. Go and be feeble. So I'm not looking at feeble folks today. You're really not coming out if you're a feeble folk. God's church is a church of power. A church of energy. A church of glorification. Edification. A church of unification. A church with an anointing. A church with a clear cut certain sound. My subject today, this is, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is the last day. Your enemies pursue you. Now, we have been receiving letters by the thousands safely thousands emails overwhelming texts every minute the text line you hear the text line rolling letters and what they're saying preacher we listen to you we hear you pray for us and then they list all the battles that they're having and the enemies fighting them enemies obia worker witchcraft worker neighbors in-laws become outlaws church folks fighting me neighbors fighting me in-laws fighting me outlaws fighting me pray brother bishop pray well i got a word for you today you better be i hope you're ready for it this is the last day your enemy is going to pursue you comes a time when people get tired get tired there comes a time when people get tired of being trampled by the iron feet of oppression I said there comes a time when people get tired have been trampled upon by the iron feet of oppression. There comes a time when people get tired of being plunged across the abyss of exploitations where they experience the bleakness of a nagging despair. They get tired. There comes a time when people get tired of being pushed out of the glittering sunlight of life's July and left standing in the piercing chill of the aspine of November winter. There comes a time when people get tired of you pushing them out of their summer and leaving them in the chilly winter. Holy Ghost help me. So in the midst your tiredness people decide to rise up and protest against injustice whether it's spiritual injustice political injustice moral injustice or social injustice people will rise up oh and i feel something rising up in my spirit i don't know about you you can live in the alpine of a chilly winter but I refuse to be pushed out of my spiritual summer. In Egypt, they were tired of being tired. In Egypt, they were tried in every inhumane, inhumane fashion. They were trampled on. They were exploited. The people of God were treated as a thing to be used and not as a people to be respected 
Aren't you tired of people treating you as a thing? As a doll, as a mat, as a broom, as a vacuum. Aren't you tired of being treated as a refrigerator? So when the first thing they pull you in and get a drink. But to you, to them, you're not a person. Oh God, help me. I wish people would understand what I'm saying. Don't come running back to me. Don't come trying to try, try, cry, cry, baby, and moonshine, darling. I'm trying to preach a word into your spirit. Like the children of Israel. Some of us in this house and those watching. We have broken loose. Mm. People not understand me, God. We have broken loose. From the Egypt of colonialism. We are broken loose from the, the Egypt of imperialism. We are broken loose from the bondage of socialism. And humanism. And communism. And now. And now. We stand. Or we are going through. The wilderness of adjustment. And we're heading toward our promised land of integration. There are some of us who have broken loose from the whiplash of Pharaoh. Pharaoh is a type of the devil. Moses is a type of Jesus. Egypt is a type of the world, a type of bondage, a type of oppression, a type of injustice, a type of bigotry. We are now heading to the canyon of deliverance, the canyon of rest, the canyon of blessing. Some of us in this house today will join the bishop. And we will safely tell the enemy. Today I eat my last garlic. Today I eat my last onion. Today I eat my last lettuce. There are some promises. That has been given to me by my father. Remember I told you that he's bringing out a people by his name, with his name, and for his name. And today is my last day in the Egypt. In the Egypt of mental slavery. In the Egypt of mental bondage. In the Egypt of mental complacency I pack my bag and I've girded my lawn I've killed my lamb and I've daubed the lintel of my door book. my staff is in my hand I'm waiting for divine instruction the instruction is this is my last night in Egypt Ah, get ready now to make a shift. I'm going to preach in here today and I'm going to leave some of you because you won't be able to understand me unless you're sweeping with the anointing. You see, I've been dehumanized. I've been asterized. I've been trampled upon by Pharaoh and his henchmen. I've been demoralized. And I have just become a number, not a person. I've been used to build houses and cities. Uh, my straws have been taken from me. I've been brutalized. And, uh, and it seemed like I would die in this place. But you know, I refuse to give in. And I refuse to give up. Oh, there are some of us who refuse to die in our Egypt. Beat me if you want to. Brutalize me if you want to. Talk about me if you want to. Trample me with the boot of injustice. 
but I refuse to die in Pharaoh's Egypt. Ooh, I feel my help coming. I refuse to die in the home of misery, in the home of injustice. I refuse to give in. I refuse to give up. I refuse to quit. I'm always declare that I'm a winner. I'm a survivor. I'm an overcomer. So I tell Pharaoh. Whoever your Pharaoh is, whatever your Pharaoh is, I told, I told Pharaoh that the only thing I know is to pray. And I'm a one God preacher. I'm a one high preacher. I said I'm a one God preacher. And I'm a one high preacher. I don't mix the oil. When I give it the oil, it's called pure olive oil. Don't mix it, don't trim it, don't cut it. It's a Pentecostal power. Oh, help me, Jehovah. And I'm a one God preacher. Thank God for Buddha. Thank God for Mohammed. Thank God for Selassie. Thank God for Hare Hare Krishna. Whoever they are and whoever they were. But may I tell you from the pulpit of Temple of Praise, my God is a living God. And I'm a one God preacher. I'm not an Egyptian believer. I don't play games with God. For he said, I am the Lord your God that brought you out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. And thou shalt have no other gods beside me. I'm a one God preacher. I don't mix with demons and devils. I don't mix with Obia worker and candle burner. I don't rich, I don't mix with large man. I don't mix with Illuminati. Are you hearing me? I don't mix with revival table. I'm not a revivalist. I'm a Holy Ghost preacher. I don't talk to the dead. I drive the dead and bury the dead. I don't disturb the dead. I drive demons crazy. I don't talk to Duppy. Duppy run from me. Come on somebody. I don't wear no wrap. If I'm wrapped up in the Holy Ghost. I don't wear no bangle. And I don't wear no pencil. And I don't wear no guard. For I have secret service. For the angel of the Lord. And camping around them that fear him. Talk to me Holy Ghost. I want to give you five prophetic release. Release number one. You will see God's salvation. Release number two. You will see today. I'm talking about today. Some of you waiting for next week. Help yourself. You shall see today. Today. Jehovah God. Is going to come down. And fight for you. Release number three. The Egyptians. Whom you see today. You will see them no more. You will see them no more. You can sit down there and play church. Help yourself. I'm releasing a prophetic release. A five sprung prophetic release. You will see God's salvation. You will see today. The Egyptian whom you see today. You shall see them no more. Prophetic number four. The Lord God shall fight for you. Some of you got your husband to fight for you. You got your gunman boyfriend to fight for you huh? you got your hope your man say he'll fight for you huh? you got your rapid bar man huh? and your large house huh? that is fighting for you huh? but oh lord huh? the lord god jehovah huh? he's gonna fight for me huh? i got somebody huh? fighting for me he'll fight you in the heavens he'll fight you on the sea he'll fight you on the highway he'll fight you in your bedroom he'll fight you at your workplace he'll fight you in the church house he'll fight you on the street he'll fight you in your bed he'll fight you at your dinner table anywhere you go he'll fight you on the airplane he'll fight you in america he'll fight you in canada he'll fight you in russia he'll fight you from the philippines the Lord shall fight for you. Show up your hands and declare in the heavens. The Lord God is fighting for me. Jehovah Gebo. Jehovah Gebo. Jehovah.
Jehovah Gepo, Jehovah Gepo, Jehovah Shama, Hail Helion, Hail Shaddai. He's fighting my battle. He's fighting my, di- my demons. He's fighting hypocrites. He's fighting opium worker. He's fighting politician. Church man. Church woman. God here to hit manga. Here groove. God is fighting. Go ahead and do what you have to do. And then the Lord said, you will not have to fight. Just stand still. Preacher man, take it easy. Let God fight your battle. There's one thing with God, he will not take your justice and give it to another. If you're wrong, you're wrong. And if you're right, you're right. You don't have to curse out anybody, tell off anybody. Let God fight your battle. Stand still. Look at your neighbor. And tell them neighbor. There's only one thing you got to do. Say one thing. Shut your mouth. Keep quiet. He's fighting your battle. Shut your mouth. Keep quiet. Secret services on the march. Shout. Shout stand still. God is fighting for me. Shout stand still. Speak over yourself. And encourage yourself in the Lord. Don't talk to them people not talking to you. Encourage yourself. And speak over yourself. Call your name and say GG stand still. God is fighting. Go ahead and tell yourself God is fighting. This has been the command of God about 80 times in scripture. How many times? Shut your mouth, Jehoshaphat. The battle is not yours, but God. Sit down a while. Let me take you back to church. He has always had to stand still. Let me take you. The bottom of the Red Sea was actually made dry at the place where the children of Israel crossed. That's why he said anywhere your feet shall tread he'll give it to you and any house you go into any village and any town that they will not receive you shake the dust off your feet and it shall be a witness you're sitting down there and don't know how powerful your feet is blessed are the feet of them that bring it good news your feet are blessed and sanctified i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house thy feet shall stand within thy gates oh jerusalem So anywhere your feet shall step into, the waters of hell shall coagulate and become highs. Good help me God. The water froze up and was ice on the left and ice on the right and instead of a muddy part it was highway deliverance anywhere a child of God goes that carries the anointing of God you will impact society the bottom of the Red Sea was actually made dry the Red Sea was about 12 miles wide. 
and from 70 to 100 feet deep. Imagine a path with walls of ice on both sides. And I hear the Holy Ghost say, Onward! Apostolic Pentecostal Jesus name people. Onward! Forward still. It's Jehovah's will. Though the pillars dash and spread with a conquering train, we will push ahead and he'll roll the sea away. Some of you sing and roll the sea away. That's not what he said. You can't roll no sea away. He will roll the sea away. Before me was the sea of sin. So great I fear to pray. Mm. I know the Lord would quickly come. My panel and roll my sea away. No. God will harden your enemy's heart and let them believe that they can take out Bishop G.G. Cooper make them believe somebody said make believe that they can kill OJ Smiley kill the first lady take out Minister G take out Minister Barrett take out the evangelist I know you're sleeping around there on me and take out the missionary yeah God will make you any believe and spend a lot of money oh yeah God will harden your enemy's heart and make them believe that they can spend a lot of money to wipe you out God will let your enemy believe that they can hire a hitman to take you out not knowing that God is gonna move seven catastrophic plagues God is gonna move one last time somebody lift your hands and get under the anointing and say fear whoever you are some of you you will let me back up here every Moses has a Pharaoh and every Pharaoh has a Red Sea every Jezebel has an Elijah and every Elijah has a Jezebel but Jezebel have to jump have to drop and die come on somebody some of you are young and you're just coming out but your fear is waiting on you yes your fear is getting ready to think he can swallow you many are they that rise up against me many be there that say let us take him out but they forget one thing that he is my glory and the lifter of my head somebody open up your mouth and say Pharaoh I don't know who your Pharaoh is I don't know where your Pharaoh is I don't know who this message is sent for I am just delivering the revelation from the revelator I'm not the enforcer I'm the presenter help yourself to whom it may concern to whom it may concern 600 Egyptian war chariots were bearing down on the helpless Israelis who were trapped between the mountains and the Red Sea the chariots each carried two people one to drive the chariot and one to fight but Pharaoh forget one thing and many of you are forgetting one thing watch this six hundred choice chariots one to fire and one to drive the chariot but Pharaoh forget one thing that one of us shall chase a thousand and two of us shall put ten thousand devils oh, yeah, yeah. 
My God, you better praise God in this place. Say, devil, this is the last day you pursue me. Hope your worker, necromancy, witchcraft worker, sorcerer, this is the last day you work, Hobia. This is the last day you fire gone. This is the last day you lift your hand. I don't know who I'm preaching to. Preach it. Encourage yourself and release it in the atmosphere. These chariots was made out of wood. A leather cap. Placed over two wheels. And they were pulled by the finest horses. You talk about horse power. Devil power. Demonic power. Satanic power. Large power. Illuminati power. But whatever your power. Black power. White power. Yellow power in the east. We're ready for you. Stand on your feet. And tell the devil I can take anything. That you throw at me. These were the armored tongues of Bible days. Trapped beneath the sea. The Israelis faced the mighty onslaughts of the Egyptian armed forces sweeping in for the kill. Is there anybody here today? You feel the mighty force of hell sweeping into your life for the final kill for the final onslaught and you think you're doomed and you think you're finished and you want to commit suicide and you're panicking and you say it's over might as well I die but I got five hold up your five finger woman I said I got five prophetic release today Five prophetic release. Open up your mouth and talk with me. Five prophetic release. You will see God's salvation. The word salvation means deliverance. Open up your mouth. Prophetic number two. Talk what I talk. You will see it today. Prophetic number three. The Egyptians whom you see today. I shall see them no more forever. Shafiro. Lord God, I wish I find somebody can talk. Shafiro. Your night is come. Your morning is come. This is the last day that you fight the bishop. Put your name there. Prophetic number four. The Lord is fighting for me. Good God, turn around and tell yourself, the Lord God, Jehovah. Jehovah, Gebor, Jehovah, Gebor. Jehovah, bring up them flow, my. Jehovah, Gebor. Jehovah, Gebor. Jehovah, Gebor. Encourage yourself. Don't look at me. Encourage yourself. He's fighting for me. Prophetic number five. 
I don't have to fight. I don't have to cry. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is to shut my mouth. To whom it may concern, stand up. Amen. Amen. Drop your hands everywhere in the prison, hospital, in your vehicle. Now, those of you watching me and viewing me, get this message today. And I don't want no more moonshine, ball, ball, letter, and text. When you text me this week, next week, seven days, I want you to write me and tell me my, my, my fear is drowned. The chariots are no more. Stretch up your hands. Get this message in your spirit. And don't come here, come bother me. Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is here. Jehovah Gabor. The Lord is fighting for me. Hell shall die. You're more than enough for any devil and any demon. I release the prophetic anointing in your hospital for your healing and your breakthrough. Are you praying with me? I release the prophetic anointing in the prison wall. Bring comfort and peace, salvation and deliverance. I release the prophetic anointing in your homes. My friend up in Mineral Heights, Besides, Sister Jackie, I bless you. I know the radio is blaring on a Sunday morning. The whole street is covered with revival time. I speak your breakthrough. Manchester, take your deliverance. St. Elizabeth, take your anointing. Westmoreland, take your breakthrough. Oh, St. Anne's, take your breakthrough. Oh, yes, Palma, take your breakthrough. St. Mary, take your anointing. Kingston, Portland, St. Thomas, take your breakthrough. St. Catherine, take your deliverance. Clarendon, take your breakthrough. St. Andrew, God is fighting for you. Portland, Westmoreland, St. Mary, St. Elizabeth, across North America, Central America. Caribbean, Africa, Asia, Europe, take your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, stamp your feet and tell them, take your breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Dr. Wayne G, take your breakthrough. Bess FM, take your breakthrough. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Jams Rock Radio, blessed be on your husband. Take your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Everybody, everybody on the network, on the network, on the network, on the network. In the name of Jesus, in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south. Take your breakthrough. Amen. Now my text line is waiting to hear your victory. 354-6269. 354-6269 that's my text line 354-6269 email me at revivaltime70 at hotmail.com that's revivaltime70 at hotmail.com my prayer lines are open yes 984-4398 984-4398 yes 86 Five help 865 help wherever you are whoever you are if you don't get the number simply right revival time p.o box 261 spanish town remember i need your help to carry these broadcasts across the nation and around the world thank you for tucking in your love offering into our account 471 058 157 471 058 157 is national commercial bank 
Thanks for helping me carry these broadcasts. From Temple of Praise, we say to the nation, take your... Take your deliverance. Be seated.